Greetings to my team of 144, all star seeds, love workers, and way shores. One more day of intense waves coming into the field. We had a major heat wave today, followed by a massive downpour leading into a massive rainbow to the east. One of the biggest rainbows I've ever seen. And then tonight, many this evening at sunset, many interesting clouds look like cloaked ships, hundreds of cloaked ships surrounding us. And then later this evening, around midnight, many flashes, constant flashing all around us in the night sky, looking like flashing of lightning, but in a very com peculiar patterns, and just constant surrounding us. Last night, a massive wave came in for myself. It was at 2.22 a.m. Eastern Time. That was on the, the night of the 28th, the night and morning of the 28th. Last night, Lightworker sent me a message at 7.44, and then I responded this morning, and she pointed out that it was 7.44. They were both 8.44 my time, Eastern Time. 4-4 four, four and the 8, 844, another synchronicity of our team showing us that we are in synchronicity, that none of this is happening by chance. And at 222, upon awakening by this massive wave energy coming in, it was like it took my breath away. I felt as if there was a stardust flowing down through my central channel, down through my throat. I couldn't swallow, couldn't breathe, so I got up to get some water, and my right knee popped out. It was like weird popping, and then throughout the day, my joints were popping, and my neck, and clicking, and hip, and just weird energies going through the knees, through all my joints today, and just the the heat, the waves coming from the sun today, from that white light very intense got extremely hot today humid and then the rainbow the rainbow waves came in the heat then the waters the fires the waters and then the rainbow energies and now the flashing white lights all around us one thing before the transmissions today i want to touch upon this concept that all beings in this realm right now are all star seeds Based on quantum physics, the human mind wants to think of past lives, present lives, future lives. But in the concept of now, and the concept of presence, we are all things here now. It's just that the mind has created this veil of separation and created this concept and perception of linear time. But now we are moving into more of a fluid time or spatial time, or what we call non-linear time, that is beyond all time. So we're able to jump into any timeline at will with, with the right practice, with the right awareness, the right consciousness. We're able to do this and experience anything that the heart slash mind can imagine. Also, what came into my consciousness was that this memory of the Divine Feminine when I was younger and wanting to destroy the Matrix. My soul was calmed by this Divine Feminine band called Cherokee Nation called Walela. And Walela means hummingbird. That's W-A-L-E-L-A. -E and it's, I believe, a trio of Native American women with the most beautiful harmonies and, and voices, so I would check them out. I'll post them on the Facebook page for Prime Disclosure. So, so many earthquakes in the last few days around, especially the Ring of Fire, but all over the planet. Many volcanoes erupting. There was one in uh, Russia the other day, a few days ago. This volcano was dormant for almost a hundred years, for almost a century. The, there was a ash plume that was about 42,000 feet or 8 miles high 
and lightning was detected in the plumes. So this was in a massive explosion. As we're going through this ascension process, many, many earth changes happening, the shaking up of the energies, the intense waves, the intense rays coming in. Also, there was cosmic radio waves traced to an origin of possibly 13,000 light years away, which is located in a galaxy, which was a huge burst of mysterious cosmic radio waves, which is believed to be emanating from another intelligence. We are at moon 13, harmonic convergence of celestial cycles. We are, it is the cosmic moon of presence, June 27th to J July 24th. Based on the Mayan calendar and harmonic convergence, we're in the time of transcendence and transformation. Today's first transmission, I'll read two today, two short transmissions. The first one from Meg Benedict, Solar Eclipse Galactic Reset. Now this solar eclipse coming up on July 2nd is going to be a, a massive shift, massive reset. What many are calling the Galactic Reset. Greetings. We are reaching peak intensity as the galactic plasma waves surge towards the total solar eclipse this Tuesday, July 2nd, at 10 degrees Cancer. Eclipses act like wormholes in time, opening new opportunities we could never access before. With two eclipses just 14 days apart in July, it offers an energetic breakthrough like a pressure relief valve. As the veils are dropping, all is being revealed to public view. Witnessing shadow in action is uniting humanity and compassion. The eclipses provide the stimulus to review and reset our future timeline. We are being guided to heal, clear, and activate everything required in time for the grand ascension wave, arriving with the Pluto-Saturn conjunction in Capricorn on January 12, 2020. With the onset of the sun's solar minimum cycle, we are experiencing less sunspots and more plasma waves affecting the energetic electron flux to vary. As the magnetic density continues to thin, the incoming gamma rays increase energy frequencies and unlock stuck unconsciousness. The end result is a quickening and awakening of higher consciousness on the planet. The series of eclipses on the Cancer Capricorn axis is shaking the very foundation of modern society to its very core. Set your intentions and visions with heartfelt passion to ignite Gaia's Ascension Timeline. The solar eclipse on Tuesday offers a reset point for everyone to accelerate their energy frequency into the higher dimensional timeline. Remember who you are and why you are here. We are the Ascension Team. Let's optimize the solar eclipse energies to propel us into a loving, harmonious world. And you can join Meg Benedict on NewEarthCentral.com And now the second transmission channeled by Galaxy Girl on RoseRambles.org Ascended Christ Co Collective Prepare Your Hearts with Love We are the Ascended Christ Collective We offer beams of hope to humanity in the most sacred hour of the change of all changes For great change is coming and we see this with the eyes of Source that see the all most clearly we see you all most clearly. We see your morphing forms of light. We see your struggles to understand the lessons learned from the darkest of times. And we see the Christed light weaving light all around you, through you, and those challenging experiences into a tapestry of the most beautiful of lights. We see all things most clearly. For we are you, your ascended you in the higher realms of the time of no time of the space in between spaces where all is possible and yet all is not yet for the christed flame burns in the heart of every sun in the heartbeat of the universes the christed light beams brightly now on your earth on dearest gaia who has sacrificed so much for so many her time of rebirth is nigh as here as within you the christed flame burns brightly enlightened souls hearing our words you have little of your time left to prepare, and so we urge you to prepare your hearts with great love, with great urgency and care. Prepare. Prepare to be the vessel of perfect love, 
to align with the Christed flame that burns brightly within and to nurture it. Nurture yourselves in this time of the changing metamorphosis of this time of the greatest changeover. From the darkness into the lightness of the all that is to come is to be, is to become yet more light, for all is morphing all around you. The very earth trembles under your feet. The time of the end of chapters is at hand, and yet with the marvelous work of our ascending grounded ones, many torrid timelines have been long passed by, blessed, but passed over. For you on, are on the fastest, most pure, most perfect timeline. For you have spoken as a collective. Enough is enough. Those that are not of the purest ways of heart, those who have been chosen more experience of flirtation with the darkness or of becoming enmeshed within it, within another matrix are being removed, moved, airlifted, transported, dissolved away from this realm of morphing light. Nova Gaia awaits those with brave, pure hearts, those with open hands to serve and eyes to see and ears to hear. There is laughter on the wind, for the fairies are playing with the children there. Can you hear them? The call of Nova Gaia rings loud and true in the hearts of the Christed ones. Listen to the call. We are the Christed consciousness. We are of no time, of no space, for we cannot be contained. We are, as are you. And now be the light, be the Christed flame to the others. Blast this light and love to the dark recesses of your hidden pains and memories that have yet to be blessed by the Christed part of you. Be the Christed flame. Be the living embodiment of the Christ. Become your higher self in form. It is such a simple thing, and yet one must relax into it. You must allow this process. It cannot be forced. It must be felt with the heart, seen with the eyes of source, and understood with the childlike innocence of those who believe. Believe. Feel. See. Forgive. Be in joy. Be the Christ, for it is all around you. Yes, she. Marvelous, yes, she. Such a light. What is tremendous example of light? And yet there are many others. There have been and there will be, for they are waking up into the light of their own magnificence. It is a humble thing. Magnificence and love intertwined in unity and perfect dance of harmony, of joy, of light, of bliss. Children radiate this when they are at peace. They radiate the playful childlike innocence of pure joy that is the Christ. Be this. Learn from the children. Follow your heart. Relearn the art of play and be in joy. We are the Ascended Christ Collective. We see you. We love you. We encourage you on your journey towards internal enlightenment as you transform this quadrant of pain into pleasure, love, joy, a respite, an oasis, a sanctuary. Remember the inner must proceed the outer. And so, may we lovingly suggest you invite these energies of the Christ within you and then it will be reflected in your outer sphere, and you will be paving your own golden roadway with bricks of light as you walk the narrow light-filled path to Nova Gaia. To this we say welcome home. We are waiting for you on the other side. Invite our sparks within you and be at peace, for the road is long, but you are almost there. See, it is shining within you, bright and true. Be the Christ. We are the Ascended Christ Collective. Be at peace and be in joy. And this is from Galaxy Girl from roserambles.org. I am Paul from primedisclosure.com. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for sharing your glorious light with all beings in all realms. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please share in the comments below what you're experiencing in these shifting, ascending times. I would like to invite you all to take a look at this event coming up. It's a gathering in Sedona, Arizona, July 5th, 6th, and 7th. It is the Seven Seal Summit with M and Miss M and many other lightworkers and starseeds. You can check that out on primedisclosure.com and click on Seven Seal Summit at the top of the page. And if you feel the calling to go to this event, you can purchase tickets there and Meet other light works, light workers on this ascension path. I'd also like to thank my team, our team that is 
working towards the blueprint of the Healing Retreat Center and Sustainable Community in Ecuador, South America. If you'd like to help us raise funds for this endeavor, you can join our CBD business at cbdpeaceoil.com. That's cbdpeaceoil.com. I'll put a link in the description below. So thank you all for all that you do for all of humanity. Be in the heart center. Keep walking your path with heart and love and light. I love you all, beautiful beings of light. Namaste.